Hey, it's just so Trish. And what do I do? Do I go switched on schoolhouse? Do I go monarch? Let's talk about this. So I told you a link to the video week 20. I really get into details about how we are using the monarch free trial for 30 days. If you haven't done that, I got a link below through homeschool buyers co-op that you can go do a free 30 day trial. They, their, their motto is, we know you'll love it so much. After 30 days, you can't live without it. Yeah, probably after one week, I'm like, I can't live without it. What do I do? So I told you before, um, Alpha Omega Publications, this is the only thing I got in box form, um, make Switched On Schoolhouse and Monarch. They are the same thing, almost the same thing. The difference is you buy the CDs, you have the curriculum in CD form, and then you, you have them, and you load them on your computer. So here it is. You get a little book. You get um, an installation disc, and then you have your um, you have your installation disc, and then you have your CD somewhere. Yeah, and then like, see, I have elementary Spanish, so I bought this last year. So that switched on Schoolhouse. Monarch is where you. Excuse me. Monarch is where you have a subscription based and everything is online. You just literally log in all internet based. So pros and cons. Let's figure this out. If you have one kid, it will be a toss up. If you're just going to homeschool one kid in your life, complete toss up, whatever you prefer. So we've been using the Monarch for a week. I've got three kids running on an internet based. Okay, so we use the Monarch, three kids running off of it. Now, we are using technology a bit more lately. So, on my, I have, through our phone company, um, it's 10 megabytes per second is the speed we have. And so, on the 10 megabytes per second, they're going to see it's wake up time. You can tell I'm past the, my morning glory hour. We were running Netflix. We were, you know, for all our leapfrog videos. Netflix, three kids on Monarch, one kid on A on ABC Mouse, and then myself, you know, social media a little bit. Anyways. So we started running into problems with um, things not loading and timing out of... Um, the internet base so we were running into some problems with that but I actually went and started checking around what it would cost me to increase my internet and come to find out my phone company had something set up that it was an, an extra $12 a month to move me from 10 megabytes per second to 25 megabytes per second I have not asked and I I went ahead and did it so I won't have it until tomorrow evening ish um, to finally be moved up and I'll tell you how that goes and I think it's gonna make a big difference so for that price is worth it and I'm hoping it actually increases my upload speed for my videos to YouTube we'll find out sometimes it takes all day okay so monarch requires just a web browser just a web browser so you can use a Chromebook you can use you know a wore out computer you can use it and for me in our situation I have three kids really I'm running four kids with some form of internet based schooling and we're getting away with that by my brand new computer um, we actually have three computers my brand new one the one that was crashing all the time if I don't do anything but lo load Chrome and let Chrome run the computer works great so using that one and then we have an older computer that we actually tend to just pay our bills on and we are very careful about it we're using that computer too it is not the most optimum only my new computer you can unplug and sit somewhere else otherwise you are tethered to um, <coughs> excuse him 
Um, otherwise, you're tethered to the outlet because none of them hold a charge. So we've been debating. We've actually been in a lot of talk because we can continue doing Monarch the way we're doing Monarch at $70 a month. We have no curriculum we own. It's just kind of $70 service. There you go. That can get to be very expensive. I say very expensive, but at the same time, in the long run, but at the same time, it's not because when I talk to my friend who is having lots of joy sending her one child to a private school where they were actually using Monarch, she was paying 6000 a year. Well, I can send three kids to Monarch for $70 a month. She's paying like 500 bucks a month, I think. Yeah, 500 bucks a month. I'm coming off really cheap. Really, really cheap. They're up. I have to put out fires. Cause they're... Anyway. Um, so for 70 bucks a month is a great deal. You don't owe anything. You're paying for a service. It's like cheaper than a personal assistant. And I feel like that's what I have with it. So you get for $70 five subjects five subjects and that's your Bible your math your science your language arts and your history there are electives and you can buy the electives individually the thing about the electives is it gives you 18 months to use it so you purchase it you have 18 months a year and a half to use it so if I did buy the Spanish I would have to buy that for each child I'd have to buy it for each child and I'd have to, they'd get 18 months to use it. The price is almost the same as buying the CD. This CD, I load it on my computer, I can use it for as many kids as I want, up to five at a time. This is where it gets hard. Especially being a mama who may very well use this for years. For years. It can get very hard. So if I wanted to stay with Monarch, I could pay for three kids. Um, on, a, on a sale, I think it's 700 or regular price, 700 bucks a month. A, a year. $700 for the year to use it for three kids. It works out to be about two fifty a child, two twenty five a child, two fifty somewhere in there. I can buy this by the grain, regular price four hundred and forty dollars. So if I got third grade, the entire set four hundred and forty dollars. Every day I can buy it for four hundred and four dollars on Homeschool Buyers Co-op because I got a ten percent off. Four times a year I can buy it for twenty percent off for three hundred and sixty dollars. Now the same goes for the year subscription. I can get it ten percent off or twenty percent off on those days too. I buy third grade, I buy it one time. And I can use it over and over and over again. If I have twenty kids I can use it over again. So all of a sudden I can just buy this one for three sixty brand new. The difference is they're not updating this. I have to buy a new program to update, a new grade to upgrade or update the subjects as they come. Monarch is instantly updated. If I run Switched on Schoolhouse, I need a computer that is running a processing speed of 1.4 minimum or 1.6 minimum, preferably two. I need two to four RAMs of memory or whatever it is and then your hard drive needs to be about 10 gigabytes of space. So you better be careful because I've been looking at both and I'm looking at running our computers. What do I need to do? You know, we need really two more computers to really run eff effectively and not the rest of the house slowing down. I can't do my bills and my paperwork I need to do for the house because somebody's always on my computer. That's a problem. So um, we need two more. I don't want to spend a lot of money on some computers. I really need to run the browser and if I do it, I need to run this. So this has been kind of our hang up and we've really been 
you know, the last week. And I really feel like we're not going to make a decision until February. <laughs> the middle of February on what we're going to do. And we might actually make a decision to just, I'll tell you that in a moment. So, you need to hit specifications. The cheapest I've found, there's a Dell Inspiron, like that's been running on staples for $250, that meets minimum requirements. Minimum is minimum. There is an optimum requirements. And they actually tell you here. I should use this instead of me like, hey, you know. Anyways, there's minimum requirements. And really, you don't want just minimum. But you can get away with it. So here's the system minimum. Okay. Minimum. So... The best I found is $250, it's minimum. I probably should get a $300 one, but when you times that by two, that's $600. If I really go to three, it's $900. That's a lot of money to shell out in the middle of the year because you don't like your other curriculum. I am trying to sell some of that off. If any of y'all want some of my old curriculum, send me a message, I'll tell you what I got um, to buy. Because mom, I gotta buy some computers. Anyway, so, if I get Monarch, I can run off garbage computers and get a Chromebook and run just fine. And a Chromebook you can buy for 180 bucks. So it's kind of a toss up. But then when I consider the fact of how much I'm spending every year, is it worth it to make the investment? So this is what I've been weighing out. You know, if I want to use Monarch, I better have internet every day we do school. We don't have internet, we're not getting school done. So if internet's down, we might need to load up to go to the library. A mama with six kids loading up to go to the library with all our stuff, that I don't see it's getting work done. Um, that also means if we're using it in our schoolhouse, we need internet in our schoolhouse, which maybe one day we will do, maybe. But that becomes a limitation with using Monarch. And it kind of has me in a toss up. If you're driving, you know, if you got a mobile hotspot, and they do make that, there's like a Karma thing I looked up. It's called, I don't believe in Karma, but the thing is called Karma. It's a little box. It's $50 a month unlimited internet. But it's not like for streaming movies or anything. It's for, you know, it would work just fine for that. Um, you physically can go and buy these used, but you're not supposed to. So one of their terms of use is you can go and, um, what's the password? Hold on. You can go and use, okay, so the terms of use is you buy it new you can gift it one time. You're not supposed to sell it. You can gift it to one person. So, every time you order, like you order an, um, a grade kit, you order one subject, you order an elective, you get an um, installation CD. This installation CD gives you five downloads. So if you have five computers, you can download it. Computer one, two, three, four, five. After that, it becomes null and void. You can't keep downloading it. Per tech support, because I call tech support. Um, once you load it, you can then take your elementary and load it on every computer that you have it on. The cool part is it's 20 bucks to get another installation CD. So it's not like, oh no, I'm out of luck. 20 bucks, you can get however many you need. And then you only need the one and you can load it on everybody. Um, every time you buy a grade set, you're getting an installation CD. So that's kind of neat to know. The other part too is the 2016 edition is coming out in April. We'll be ready for Windows 10. But that doesn't mean you're stuck. You get one that's 2015 that's not meant for Windows 10. You get on tech support with them, you work it out. That's the advantage of buying it brand new. You have tech support. 
The other thing too is if you're using an after so many years they stop updating. So if you're trying to use a set from 04 that your friend gave you, there's no more updates for that. You get like five years of updates. And after that you have to get a new one. But even still for the price, it's not bad. And it's like a hundred percent reusable. Um there are reading books that you can get along with this, like, and they have it laid out somewhere. I don't know where. It's somewhere. And then also when you go on the website, you can get a list of the science. I've found the science kits for these run about $50, $60, but we're running in the fifth grade. We really probably should use a microscope, and we don't have one. So we're kind of making do with that until we can afford it. So... You would think that I'd be like, we're going switched on schoolhouse. Yeah, it's cheaper in the long run. I don't know. What I think is going to happen, if we go switched on schoolhouse, we probably won't do it till April. So come April, we will wait till the next sale, and then we will do the switched on schoolhouse. Until then, I think I will pay the $70 a month until then. Also, that gives me time to not have to go buy new computers. So I can slowly take on new computers. But I love is I can take my iPad to bed and I can actually begin going through their schoolwork on my iPad. It's so nice. It is so nice. Now, there is the opportunity I can do a full install on my laptop and then do client installs off of on everybody else's laptops <clears throat> and as long as we're connected to the network I can actually go in and do the same thing I do on the web but that also requires that we're also connected to that computer that is on the server and we're always together so that means if we're on the road or if they stay at my mom's they don't have access to that if my, you know, so if we're in different parts of our property and one's in a schoolhouse and one's here at the house or one's in the shop, we can't connect to the server. So that means for me in my situation, I'd actually have to load all of them independently, which means for me to check, I just can't go on one computer and check. I'd have to go and check on each computer to see how they're doing. So see, I mean, there's some different things and I mean it runs into if we ran Monarch we couldn't use it in the schoolhouse unless we have internet out there or the shop so I mean that it has there's definitely pros and cons there's money saving aspects but you know you have an upfront cost Monarch you don't so I have yet to decide what we're doing what I know what I'm probably doing is sticking with Monarch at least till April when the sale comes at that point I don't know. The other aspect too is I like the idea of using the Monarch and using, although I want to, it's almost, you know, I told you, I'm like, I'm almost considering doing a virtual school, charter school, but I like it because I'm still in control of when things are due and I can make changes based on that, which is, I would lose that control, but yet I'm having all of the benefits. They're working right now so cool so um, I love it it works out great there's sometimes I'm like oh but we should be sitting around the table but I don't have that this is a way I can duplicate myself so those are kind of my pros and cons um, I probably forgot something in the midst of my interruptions and rambling but it comes into what computer do we want to buy if I get, and then everything I've talked to, and I've kind of been doing like survey poll because there's a homeschool group on Facebook that's just dedicated to SOS and Monarch. So there is that group, and I'm like, what do you guys think on screen resolutions? You know, 15, is that the maximum or the minimum you can go? You know, what do you think? And so far it's been like, yeah, you want to stick with a 15 inch. Don't get smaller. Because, I mean, Katie's like, I want the 11 inch one. I'm like, I don't know about that. Um, so trying to figure out, and then I told my husband, I'm like, listen, we can get a Chromebook for like $180 for an Acer, or we can pay $250 for a Dell. 
are we shooting ourselves in the foot in the long run if we go with the Chromebook versus just a straight out Dell? You know, if I go with a Chromebook, I have no choice. I always have got to use Monarch, otherwise this thing is no good. If I spend the extra money and get a Dell for $250, I don't have to use this, but I have an option to use it. And that's the other part too, is like, I really want them to start Spanish and in order for them to do Spanish, I'd rather use this that I've already paid for than to go, you know what I mean, than to pay 80 bucks a kid to times six. That's insanity. I already own it and I'm using my money that I already spent. So we've talked about that. So it's still, I know this is just my brain crutch. Like, what do I do? Kind of deal. And I think it's going to, it all really comes down to money. It absolutely comes down to money and do making a change in the middle of the year isn't bad. The nice part is doing Monarch for the month. I can do the placement test because if it would have been me the first part of the week doing Switched on Schoolhouse, I would have bought fifth, fourth, and third thinking I needed to spend $900. And coming into the second week of using Monarch, I realized I really kind of need to just spend by fifth and third for the three of them. And then like one or two subjects in the middle kind of deal. So, let's see, makes a difference. And the nice part, knowing that they'll have the sales and then we're coming kind of middle of the year, I could buy one or two in April and I'll probably be buying maybe one more in August. And I can definitely space them out better by having Monarch and using Monarch. So anyways, I hope this helps on like my little like brain thinking on which to use and why to use it. I mean, all of them I can do this and this. Not a problem. I mean, they're literally seamlessly the same. You can jump between Monarch and Switched on Schoolhouse back and forth. Alright. So there's my rambles. Peace out.